What's up? We got Batman the Animated Series Season 1 Episode 2 Christmas with the Joker. Even though it's not a Christmas episode. Um, yeah, always reviewing Christmas episodes not on Christmas because, yeah. So anyway, this episode is about the Arkham Asylum where we see Joker. Yeah, where do we see the animated singing jingle bells and Joker's like, yeah. Are you but then Joe, Joker's like Batman lost so Batman so Robin laid and Batman and the Joker got away. And Joker gives his flying Christmas tree or rocket power Christmas tree to fly away. So then we see Batman and Robin with this being the first appearance of Robin in the series. And uh, and Robin Batman like, hey, Robin Joker j just got broke out of Chris, broke out of Arkham. But, but Joker's like, but Robin's like, hey, Batman, th it's Christmas. Why don't you watch It's a Wonder? Why don't we, why, after we catch Joker, let's watch It's a Wonderful Life. But Batman's like, I never saw that movie. Could get past the title. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was a good, that was a good laugh. So they basically, why, oh. You know, and they start looking for Joker. Batman thinks he sees trouble, but it's just a lady giving back a, or a guy giving back a lady her her Christmas gift. And and Batman's like, and Robin's like, hey, Batman, you gotta get out of here. Let's go back to watch It's a Wonderful Life. So they start watching until they until it gets interrupted by a Joker. Joker to awesomely played by the greatest actor, Mark Hamill. Yeah, I told you his role as Trickster, kind of in, in his role on The Flash season three, playing Earth three Joker, Earth three Trickster, kind of reminded me of the Joker, Earth three Trickster, kind of had Joker elements. And Mark Hamill is great as the Joker, so. I never knew Mark Hamill could do a good Joker, but he can. So I never knew that bad. So the Joker is like the Wonderful Life isn't playing this year. Won't be around this year. Instead, this will be playing is Christmas with the Joker. Name of the episode and name of the show. The Joker. He basically kidnaps Commissioner Gordon. He's basically like, hey, he never had a family, but not did Bat, but Batman did, and he's like, now he does. Commissioner Gordon, Commissioner Gordon, some blonde lady, and who he's never seen before, and probably won't we'll never see again, and and Harvey Bullock all play characters, all play Joker's family, and and Harvey Bullock is like, Harvey. Commissioner Gordon's like, Joker, when I get my hands on you, I'm gonna, and then, and then, Harvey Bullock is like, Joker, I'm gonna, when I get untied, I'm gonna beat you up. And he's like, um, yeah, right. Ha, 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 ha. So Batman and Robin have to get there, stop the Joker, and say it's a wonderful and make it in time to save it's a wonder to see it's a wonderful life. So basically Joe basically has his henchmen basically blow up the train and he's like his her mom is on that train and he's like or yeah I think she said the lady said her mom is on the train and he's like oh well and, he, and Joe Graven has his hand taped in as a as a person Oh, the Joker. We love Mark Hamill. Well. Uh, yeah. Then they say to, to go fight the Joker. But, but they, you know, first have to stop. They first have to stop the, the bad guy. And go and fight. Pew, 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 fight, fight, fight. Yeah, but they will get to the 
Joker, and the Joker is able to put a pie in Batman's face. And, and, <clears throat> yeah, and Batman kind of gives a remnant of, of the Batman movie from 1990, from 99, from 99, where he has, where he has a Joker over a vat of chemicals. But, yeah. But, Joker doesn't fall in. Because at the end of the episode, we see Joker in our slam in a straight jacket. Acting like all crazy. Okay. That's what the Joker is. And we don't see Batman and Robin, you know. <clears throat> we don't see Batman and Robin. We see Alf Alfred saying, Oh, Mr. Wayne. Played by a different actor. He I think he got recast later on. But, he said, the actor voice of Alfred get recast later on. He's like, hey, Mr. Wayne, you should thank Commissioner Gordon for, give, for gi giving us a wonderful, for giving us a screen of It's a Wonderful Life. And Robin said, and Robin says, it is a wonderful life. And Batman's like, yeah, that movie wasn't half bad. So that was Christmas with the Joker. It was good. It was, I enjoyed it. Mark Hamill was spectacular as the Joker. And that's the first appearance of the Joker. Of the Joker. It was really good. It's the first appearance of the Joker. It was really good. It was cool seeing Batman. It was kind of cool seeing Batman and, Ro Batman and Robin. Try to with the first appearance of Robin in this series, trying to stop the, the Joker. And, and it was cool to see, you know, how Batman, when Batman didn't, never saw The Wonderful Life, never saw It's a Wonderful Life, because he couldn't get that title. But by the end of the episode, he actually thought that movie was pretty good. Don't know why Robin likes it so much. It's never explained why Robin has an upset. Why Grayson has an obsession with that movie. He just does. It's all types of random. And the Dexter Season 7 recap will be coming out today. So be careful. Watch out for that. And, and, and if you want to see more Batman the Animated Series, please check out the channel because this is currently the only Batman channel that has the only Batman channel Batman channel that I post on that has like 26 views. The other Batman channel has like one view for the first episode. Hopefully when I post the second episode on that channel it will be really well more received because everyone loves the Joker. Who doesn't Love the Joker. He's cool. He's a little psychotic. Don't know what made the Joker. Don't yeah, we don't know it's kinda of funny that we don't know the joke the Joker's origins. Like he's never like we don't know why he's so crazy. What made him crazy? Why he's so obsessed with Why he's so upset with killing Batman. Those are some things that we don't know about the Joker. Yeah, those are some things that we don't know about the Joker. We do know about Harley Quinn, but she's not in the series right now. Harley Quinn Love would come later because, you know, later in the series, which we will check out. We will check out the Harley Quinn Love because I'm lo cause I love reviewing this show. For a first time watcher of Batman the Animated Series, I've only seen the Batmans of it so far. So, for the first time watcher, I'm enjoying it. It's good. It's some good action. The theme song by Danny Elfman is amazing. Congrats on Danny Elfman for being 
one of the music score composers was Spider-Man No Way Home because he did a great job. Like he does for the score for Batman the Animated Series. Really good score, man. Really good score, man. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, but anyways, that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time for more Batman the Animated Series.